actually anchored uh, here in the anchorage in Bridgetown, uh, Barbados, for the last few days now. Uh, so I've been getting some rest, and I needed that. Uh, and now it's time to start sorting the boat out, making some small repairs, maintenance, and general cleanup. Um, and one of the big problems I have is water. I don't have much water left because my tank water, uh, I mentioned before, uh, became contaminated. I think it's some rust in the tanks or something. It's foul uh, and I got to get to that, but not at the moment. Uh, so I've, I need water. Um, I do have water in these containers. It's a mineral water you buy obviously from the shops. When it's used, I reuse them. I squash them down like this and then uh, reuse them, refill them later on. So what I need to do is fill a lot of these up, uh, but I haven't found any place of water yet. And uh, my friends back there on their boat, they're the same, they need water. Uh, so we may move in the next few days. So another thing to do is make a rain catcher because here in the Caribbean it rains a lot. I mean it rains like a lot for 10 minutes and it stops and it's sunshine again. Um, so I managed to buy some material. Uh, I've got some uh, little ring things that's designed to go through material. Uh, and so I've been making uh, a rain catcher. I'm not sure how I'm going to deploy it yet but uh, the next time it rains I'll be ready and I'll be ready to fill these up because I need a wash. Uh, yeah, we've uh, stolen some water. I don't know if we're supposed to take it. It was a jetty that uh, had water. Uh, so we went around there, two trips in the dinghies, and we got water, lots and lots of water. And it's a good job I found another source of water because uh, the new rain catcher doesn't really work that well, to be honest with you. It has rained today, and I got about a cup full out of that. Been diving today. Uh, when I anchored, I lost my winch handle over the side. Ulrika swam from her boat over to mine. As she was doing so, a, a jet ski came round, and uh, I sort of tried to warn her that it was coming. And at the time, I was busy <laughs> lowering the anchor, and I slipped, and the anchor paid out, and um, uh, my anchor uh, winch handle, which fits in there, uh, went over the side. Uh, so I've been diving today, uh, managed to find it, thank goodness, because uh, that would be a bit of a problem if I didn't have that. Yeah, jet skis, uh, they're a problem here, and that's not the only problem. Apart from uh, that, we've got music, which plays all night. I mean, we're starting uh, mid-afternoon right till to four or five the following morning, and it's been doing that the last few days, uh, not getting any sleep while crossing the Atlantic, where you expect that as part of the game but uh, not getting any sleep in the anchorage because I mean the music's so loud you can hear the bass response bouncing off your chest and feel it. Uh, it's really, really loud. So uh, low marks on that uh, bridge town. Sorry about that. And we're out at sea again, pinching the wind. Just about on the edge there. There's another small place uh, right in the north of the island on the west coast of Barbados and it's directly in front of us up there and the wind is almost on the nose we're just pinching it and just getting a, a, a sailing solution I'm just using the two front sails because uh, it's only an 11 mile uh, sail and I can't really be bothered to put the main sail up and it's quite windy uh, yes we're following the rest of the crew they're up there somewhere Although last night was better, uh, there was still a lot of music going on until quite late at night. But we decided to go north. Uh, James is up there. Uh, I heard there's a good pizza place. Uh, there is a bar I have heard. Uh, but just in case, I bought a few cans of beer before I left uh, uh, Bridgetown. And the wind's just dying on me, actually. It's a gloomy day, though. It's a gloomy day, but it's warm, as you can see. So we'll see what we find up here. Good afternoon, old man. Hello, there, is. there he is. I sail halfway around the world, and who do I bump into? You look at This is Pinter, as a Dutch family. They're also in our group. Another sunny day in paradise, or is it? We got some uh, heavy swells going on here. Um, all the boats are moving, and they've been doing so all day. My old mucker James, he's way over there somewhere and uh, he's been uh, rolling quite a bit as well. Now the guys on Bella over there, 
when they arrived that was a very good spot to be in but with this heavy swell uh, they're getting a bit of a buffeting and they've been rolling like hell all day and they've had enough and you can see that the surf line is not actually that far from them so they've decided quite wisely to move uh, out into deeper water you can see the surf breaking over there looks spectacular but you don't want to be anywhere near that with a boat and they're safely away it's always uh, a little bit uh, nerve-wracking when you're pulling the anchor up that close to shore uh, with the wind blowing so hard you can even see just out there it's a little bit roly-poly but it's uh, a lot safer and a quite a bit quieter out there meanwhile back here on shadow uh, my problem is my winch has decided to uh, jack its hand in it's uh, pretty much seized up and won't work uh, means a strip down and a full service and that it's pretty damn solid. you don't want to see my ugly face but that's Spates town back there uh, in the north of Barbados been here a few days uh, had a reunion with my friend James uh, some Dutch guys back here and a German boat which we've uh, all been together now since the uh, Canaries uh, so it's good to catch up with them have a few beers uh, amble about the beach it's a beautiful little place a nice little town uh, I'm off now I'm gonna say goodbye to them uh, to do a bit of uh, rambling and adventuring on my own for a few days back uh, south of Bridgetown, Barbados. Uh, Going to meet up with somebody special, so an old friend of mine, uh, which would be nice for a day or two, uh, and then we'll see. Make sure all the hatches are closed, I'll dog that one down in a minute. Then there's the task of pulling up the anchor, which is always not enjoyable. Okay, underway. I didn't show the anchor bit, there's too much swearing in it. Okay, I'm going to do a circle around everybody and then we're off. always sad to say goodbye to people it really is you meet so many wonderful people on these journeys anyway we're going to meet up again at some point there's a wreck out here i have to be careful not to hit that next just as the sun's going down back at the anchorage at bridgetown and the noise of the weekend That's the uh, Martinique French Coast Guard. Well, they're Martinique, but they're speaking Fre French. Um, uh, there's a there's a, a fishing boat in trouble, so we're passing close to it. Whether or not we get involved in it, I don't know. Um, but they've been calling this one out for quite a while, and uh, I'm just going to plot it. But I think we're getting pretty close. I I really don't want to be taking a fishing boat in tow. I don't know what else I can do. 
Anyway, we'll see about that. Probably can't see it, but the island of Martinique is behind me. Uh, a lot of haze today. Left Barbados yesterday uh, and had another of those horrible passages. Lots of swell and slop. There's still quite a bit of it about now. Uh, nothing like what it was. I managed to get a bit of footage on the GoPro, but uh, I was just hanging on and it was just horrible. Uh, this morning, but I mean, everything oh, we, we were taking waves in the cockpit this morning, uh, a lot better. Um, we've got Martinique just behind me here, and over there is the island of St. Lucia. And um, also had a May Day on the radio, some guys got some trouble with it further down the line here. Um, had a plane buzz me, his wingtip was nearly in the water. I kid you not. No time to grab the camera, I don't know who that was. So yeah, interesting day. But trying to get to the island before it gets dark, that's always the problem. Otherwise, I've got to spend another night out in this slop. And we're running short of time. Just, I just cleared into a country with a, with a beer, I put a few things into a computer, Matea showed me how to do it. This is the coolest way I've ever come into any country. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Martinique, it's a piece of Europe dropped into the Caribbean. Ah.